So today's video is about how play can be a neural exercise and how you can use it to make you more resilient when you face daily demands. So let's start out by looking at what the primary states of our nervous system are. So we have, first of all, the ventral state, and this is also called the safe and social because we feel calm, we might have a sense of centeredness. We also are primed for connection with other people here. Then we might move into what's called the sympathetic nervous system state, where it, we feel mobilized by the energy of it. So it gets us to take action. We can feel the fight energy here, where we move towards something and we may feel a sense of anger, or we can feel the energy of flight, where we're trying to get away from something that we might fear. And here we can feel more anxiety. We also may feel a sense of agitation or find it difficult to relax. The third state of our nervous system that we can move into is the dorsal vagal state. And here we may experience things from burnout to depression to a sense of disconnection, freeze or shutdown. When we move through these different states it happens outside of our conscious awareness and it's shaped by our history. So just like we can create secondary paint colors by blending together two primary colors, the same happens with our nervous system. So we can blend together the ventral state and the sympathetic state, and this would bring us into mobilization that felt safe, and that's what play is. So we can feel the mobilizing energy and excitement of play, such as if we're going to play sport, but we still feel safe and connected. We could also move into this state with something we feel passionate about when we're working towards a goal or as we step outside of our comfort zone. So there's that level of mobilization where we need to rise to the occasion, but that energy is not so much that it moves into a fight or flight response. And we don't have that release of cortisol or adrenaline through our body. Another blended state that we can have is stillness. So if we were to blend together the ventral and the dorsal, we could come into a very deep, relaxed state and still feel safe. And we know this with some meditation. We know this can happen with breastfeeding as well. Now we can use these blended states skillfully to help us bring more flexibility and adaptability to our nervous system. So we don't get stuck in survival modes for long periods of time. And this really helps to improve both our emotional and our physical health. So let's look at play. Now, play is a really powerful way to exercise what we call the vagal brake. So like brakes on a bicycle, as you wanted to go faster, you release a little bit of the brake. So say you are moving into something that feels playful and you wanna have a little bit more mobilization or a little bit more energy, you can gently release the vagal brake and then as that moves up, then you can re-engage it so that you still feel safe and connected. So by having a very fine-tuned vagal break, we have flexibility to face the demands that are going on and still have that feeling of safety and connection. And this powerfully shapes our brain and our body in healthy ways. Now, it's not just children who need play. So adults can still reap the benefits of play right throughout the lifespan. So research has shown that adults without play in their life tend to be less curious, less imaginative, and have less joyful engagement. So when you're using play as a neural practice or a practice for your nervous system, you're exercising your vagal break, and this is helping you become better at coping with demands. So you can mobilize enough energy to meet the challenge, and then calmly return back to a centered state afterwards. So you might ask yourself, who are the people that I feel the most playful with? What activities feel like play to me? And how could I incorporate that more into my life? With our nervous system, we're not looking to stay in one state and be calm all the time. What we're looking for is to have an appropriate response to what we're doing. So for example, if you want the mobilizing energy for play and for focus, you're able to do that without it moving into fight or flight or feeling anxious or angry. It is healthy and normal to move between these different states. But when we don't have the ventral vagal energy, 
it can mean that we get stuck in these survival modes for long periods of time. And we see that there can be a disconnection from this ventral energy following on from trauma or periods of chronic adversity. So learning to exercise the vagal break is one of the best ways that you can help your nervous system become more flexible and resilient. I'll be teaching more on the primary states and the blended states in the upcoming vagus nerve program. It's a six week program that's filled with neuroscience, but it's also filled with neural exercises as well. If this is something you'd like to be a part of, then I'll pop the details below and you can find out more. Thanks so much for watching.